God, thank you so much for these people that have chosen to come here, Lord. Um, God, you've, you've placed it on their hearts to learn more about uh, sound and uh, visual just production in general. And God, thank you so much for serving hearts, Lord. Um, God, you've created, you've created everything. Uh, you've created us, and you've created us to where we're intelligent, creative human beings. And uh, Lord, you created the people that you've created. Uh, all of this technology, Lord, and you know everything about this technology, you know uh, everything from um, the tiniest minute details to the huge picture of um, Lord, you knew it from the start, and uh, it's taken us millennia to even figure even a little bit out. Um, so, God, I thank you for challenging us to um, build others up in areas, and I pray that uh, these people will take um, what I'm going to teach So the first thing I wanted to do, um, just so it's not like this nasty person in class that shows this book, um, and I want y'all to um, I want you to introduce yourselves to everybody. Um, let me start off first. My name is Daniel. Hi, Dave. Hello. I'll be teaching this class. Great. Uh, um, and then I guess we can start with Hi, I'm Nick. Hi. Oh, Nick. Oh, let's, <laughs> yes. let's, let's do a little format here. Your name, uh, major, why you're here, and your uh, organization. Cool. Uh, I'm Nick, um, psychology major. Um, I'm here because I want to get reacquainted with some of the other points of sound that I have forgotten. And I'm part of Kai Alpha. Christian fellowship. Yeah, Kai Alpha is another um, campus yes. ministry just like Leslie yeah. Foundation. Hi, I'm James. Uh, <laughs> civil engineering major, graduating in May. Uh, here because I just want to learn more about sound and production and stuff. Uh, this is Question. Can you make a killer to put the killer tomato? No. no. Anyone? 80s movies? Yes. Uh, yes. Attack of the Killer yeah. Tomatoes? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, old people. <laughs> I barely missed the 80s. <laughs> uh, Molly actually helps me with tempo on the. Um, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Hey, man. Grab a seat. No worries. Molly helps me with tempo on Wednesdays. Um, we have a little quick thing, and I don't have. So yeah, um, and then 
Molly is hopefully going to uh, um, do some of the sound with me. Yeah, I'm really excited about that. So. Hi, I'm Kendra. Church and also the Wesley Foundation, and just want to learn more. I'm Zach. I was a sociology major and master's student now on staff with Wesley for the year, and I know a little bit about the video side and want to learn more on the sound side. Cool. But David, if you haven't already guessed, we're just known to have our people uh, introducing themselves. That's uh, Nick Glacier. This is James. So um, what I just wanted them to do is just tell your name, your major, and uh, organization you go, or you're coming from, and um, the reason why you're here. I'm Dave Ramirez, physics major, but I uh, want to be a meteorologist, that's the road I'm going down. Um, I go to Brooklyn United Methodist Church, and I'm also a part of Wesley. I do a little bit of sound here and a little bit here, so I just wanted to just learn a little bit more about it. I feel like I know the basics, at least, so hopefully it's a little bit more in depth. Yeah. David also helps him in sound, um, as he just said. And uh, along with Molly, he is hoping to um, come up underneath me and doing uh, sound for Leslie. I'm super pumped about that. So I'll be looking out for that. Okay, cool. So this class, uh, as you've already guessed and if you read the overview, which I hope you did, um, is super basic. I'm not going to be teaching you about mixing. I'm not going to be teaching you uh, anything about how to operate a soundboard. I'm not even going to mention a soundboard until the very end of the class. So if you're disappointed about that, I'm sorry. Um, but for those of you who do know how to operate a soundboard, I will be inserting some really technical information just to keep you occupied. So, um, but you will learn a lot of things. Uh, I will go into some super detailed things. Um, day that you will use tomorrow, even if just for one part. Sweet. Cool. So um, I want to explain the labs first. Uh, Y'all all read the syllabus, right? Yes. I'm like, good enough. Did you read? OK, cool. So there's two lab sessions. There's lab A and lab B. Um, lab A is on of these labs are um, to, to get you, of course, out of the, out of the class session um, setting and get you into um, an actual real setting because both of these times I'm usually setting things up. Um, this time I'm taking stuff down from here and carrying it over to a different park to set up for Wesley and then this time I'm preparing for the rehearsal that we have in here for the bands. So um, when you guys come, idea that I have is when you guys come, I won't be doing anything but telling you what to do. So this is what you're going to get in the real world, and this is what you're going to get um, like if you're if you're just assisting someone. But you're going to have some tasks to do, and you're going to have to do it quickly. Um, so, but it's okay because I'm here, and um, I'll be teaching you, and you can ask as many questions you want to, and I will lovingly, lovingly answer them. I'm super excited about them. 
Um, and I'm going to pass around. Uh, I'm going to send you an email because I've got all of your email addresses. Yes. Um, and I'm going to ask you to sign up for up to two. You don't have to do this. You don't have to do the lab. It's not required um, because it's a free course. Uh, um, you don't have to come to the last week. So yeah, pick one or two, and uh, they're supplemental, so they're going to be added to this course. And uh, let's see. Yes, that is all. Cool. So um, some important terms to know is uh, I've got six labels here that are super important. Vibrations that travel through the air or another medium and can be heard when they reach a person's or animal's ear. So these are vibrations. They actually go through the air and they don't move the air. They just travel through the air. The energy travels through the air. So that's what you're hearing. So the air, or the, the words that are coming out of our mouth, the air that comes out of our mouth doesn't actually hit you because that would be disgusting. <laughs> it's just the energy that comes and radiates from my head. The second one is frequency. Um, and the frequency is the rate at which something occurs or is repeated over a particular period of time or in a given sample. So the rate at which something occurs or is repeated over a particular period of time or in a given sample. Um, and I'll explain that a little more, I think, in question two to the next, next week. Um, uh, the next one is amplitude, uh, and that is the maximum difference of an alternating electrical current or potential from the average value. What? Okay. <laughs> I'll show you. So you guys took um, sine waves classes, math classes. Yeah. If you were to say this is three decibels, it's like saying this is taller than. <laughs> it doesn't, doesn't make any sense. So, here's what it is. This is taller than that marker, right? So you could say that.
6, it multiplies it by 2. If you have something at 18 decibels, it's 8 times. Okay. Um, now, the reason why this is used is because um, amplitudes in sound and pretty much in anything, uh, audio or visual wise, are very dynamic. Dynamic means they're huge. <coughs> values from zero to a trillion. But you don't want to write down a trillion every time a value is at a trillion. But you can represent a trillion by something like a number of 100 decibels, <coughs> which is much easier to deal with. Um, so we can go to these numbers of zeros. Of course, as I said, one, a multiplier of one. You have 10, a multiplier of 3.16. Um, and then 20 goes up to 10, multiplier of 10. 50 decibels is 316 times the original value. And then you go up to 100 decibels, it's 100,000 times the real one. So that's what audio people and um, visual people use to measure how loud something is or how strong the signal is coming in. So always use decibels. And then we have uh, analog. Um, there's two different uh, realms. You remember in math, there's real numbers and imaginary numbers. Yeah. Well, there's two different realms of uh, the way of representing signals. Um, we have analog signals, which is a completely continuous function. So what I showed you earlier was kind of This one only has a finite number of points for the signal to find, so you can count them. There's seven here. Eight. There's seven, there's eight here, an infinite number here. Literally, like you can't magnify this big enough to where you can find the arrows. It won't happen, but you can here, obviously. So this is analog, this is digital. Um, digital has a has defined values at specific time intervals. And analog values on the x-axis or the time axis um, here. So infinite number of times and infinite number of values of amplitude. Whereas the digital has a finite number of Um, 
Oculus Kit. Have y'all seen the um, Newton's Cradle? Where you pick one ball up and it mm -hmm. spins on the It's the exact same principle. So what happens is um, they, I talk, these are spaced apart a little bit. Higher molecules are actually spaced apart and bound together. I talk and I say a word and this hits this one. So what the air does is it actually just passes energy. That's all. That's all sound is, is just energy flowing in a uh, organized pattern, um, which is then dispersed through the ether, or through your mind. All sound <laughs> is conversed or trans, what's the word? transformed into heat. Everything. So everything I'm saying is hitting something moving it, which is vibrating, which equals heat. Vibrating molecules equals heat. Um, that's a little nugget that you can tell your, your kids when they grow up. Um, another example of sound is just water waves. You, you see when you drop a pebble into water, the waves out, but the water doesn't actually move. So you drop a pebble, and it goes like this, and it radiates out. So the sound doesn't travel in one direction. It actually goes out. Going anywhere, and it's bouncing off all these walls. Um, dang, I didn't need that. Um, so, going back to frequencies, the human ear has a certain range of frequencies that we can hear, and that that frequency range um, is. Hurt. 